Hi everyone, Mr. Sunny Rezuma here, Student Development Officer at the Westfield Campus under Student Support Services. And I'm with... Hi everyone, my name is Kelly. Um, I'm an intern psychologist here at Westfield Campus with Student Support Services. All right. Um, so today we are just going to be doing a little, having a bit of a conversation around the LECR. It's just to cover some of the basic points about what it entails, what you can expect um, and who it's for, just to give a bit of an overview um, regarding the process. So, um, Sanele, if you're ready, I'm going to mm. ask you the first question, which is what exactly is the LECR? All right. Maybe let me just give a brief background. Eh? So when students enroll at the university, they are expect there are certain standards of performance that are expected. So after every semester, once your results are released, the university will check as to whether your performance in that semester is satisfactory based on their standards. And those students who are deemed to be not meeting those standards, who are underperforming, so to say, um, whether they are not meeting those targets for the first time, who then are given um, the orange color on Student Central and they are there for at risk, or those who are repeatedly not performing at respective standards, they might be on probation or final probation. So all those students will then be flagged and invited to do the LECR. So the LECR therefore becomes the learning enhancement checklist, which we have revised as they are. Um, it's, merely a self-diagnostic tool. It's a program for this student who's not performing to their potential to have a way of assessing themselves and to check what possible barriers are there that may be factors behind that student not performing. So it's basically that just to unpack the challenges that are in the way of you doing what you are capable of doing. All right. Okay. Thank you. Mm. Um, and why why do we believe that it is important um, to be aware of these barriers? Why is that relevant? Yeah, I mean, there are no permanent uh, contracts at the university as a student. If you keep underperforming at some point, you get excluded. Uh, some students end up losing funding um, and you end up not achieving what you came here for. So it becomes very important that the university is aware as early mm. as possible if there are challenges. And uh, it's important to note that all students who get to university are very competent. I mean, the university takes the smallest of percentages, enrolls very few students, so, and, and thousands are rejected. So these are very capable students. So when you are not performing, it's not a matter of potential there is something in the way. It could be of personal factors. They could be coming from your environment, but to explore those as early as possible and to get assistance from student support services to work on those challenges will help the student to recover on time. All right, okay. So it sounds like even though it's often covering a lot of negative things, it's actually a very positive and empowering tool. Definitely, okay. it is. All right. Mm. Okay, cool. Um, I just want to ask the next question. What exactly do you need to be able to complete the LECR? Okay, it's an online assessment. Um, you merely need your smartphone. You could be doing it in the comfort of your home, in your couch, uh, in bed if you want to, or a laptop. Um, and you, your, you'll also need your login details. The LEN login details that you use okay. uh, when, I mean, that are, that are assigned to you as a student. Use those details to log in. So basically you need a device uh, with network connection mm -hmm. and your learn details and you're good to go. All right, okay. So you've got your device, you connected, mm. you've got your login details, mm. then what exactly do you do? All right, so since it's done online, you need to get to our address. And by the way, this information will readily be communicated and available to students because as soon as results are released and you haven't reached those targets I was referring to, 
um, the university will be sending letters to you with specific details of how you get to do the LEC and the links and everything else. But the address is caeslecr.ukzn.ac.za. caeslecr.ukzn.ac.za. So when you click on that, it will ask for your login details, which would be your student number as a username, and then your password, which you use, um, uh, I mean, in the lab. Hmm. Okay. And then we would do the assessment. Um, it's, it's not long. And once you are done, uh, a report will be generated. Hmm. We do advise that a student can keep that report because it's, it speaks to you and the challenges that you need to work on. So it becomes quite a, a reflective tool, uh, mm -hmm. but we also have access to it as student support services so that when we keep engaging with you, we know where the challenges lie. So you will be expected to keep that report for yourself, but we'll have access to it. It's not compulsory to keep it. And then what will be important is for you to attend um, an LEC feedback group session where now we reflect on, on the process itself. All right, okay. Yeah. And those, those feedback sessions, how do you go about accessing those? Yeah, again, uh, the feedback sessions will be having links that are uh, communicated in your risk letters, the letter that you get after not doing well. So on, 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 on specific days, I mean, multiple days in a week, there'll be um, advertised, it's they, they are an hour long, um, and all students with negative term decisions who have done the LEC will also go to those, just to plan the way forward, just to see mm -hmm. how we can move forward and change things. One student may choose to miss the LEC feedback group session and choose to just book a counselor so that you you discuss your LEC report specifically one-on-one -on -one with the counselor. That's still an option. And in that case, we need to use our booking system to book an appointment with the counselor, caes-ukzn.bookcamp.com. Okay, so, so students have the choice of a group feedback session or a one-on-one. -on -one. Exactly. There are those students okay. who may feel like they want to unpack a bit more. They want it, yeah. to, they want it to be more direct and it is a good opportunity. There's a yes. space for them to do that. Okay, all right. So that's up to the student, which which way you'd prefer to go. Okay. Yeah. And then just the final question, because I know this is always important to, to have in the back of your mind. How long can students anticipate um, the actual assessment to take? Anything between 10 to 20 minutes, uh, depending on your speed. We really appeal to students to reflect on it it's an easy process. It's a, okay, let, let me just give you an idea of what it looks like. The first part of it will have um, five blocks um, where you can write sentences, but it basically asks you, what in your opinion do you believe were the factors behind your unsatisfactory performance. Mm -hmm. So you just say to yourself, I, I think I was affected by this as a first point and this. It doesn't have to be five. We just gave you new, we gave you five max spaces. And then the next questions will then have to be questions that you respond to by either clicking yes or not to have experienced it. So uh, there are six domains to it. Uh, there will be questions around your career choice, you know, so questions such as, are you doing this degree as a first choice? Are you passionate about what you're doing? All those questions that are career related and you click yes, no, click yes, no, depending on your answer. And there will be uh, another domain on socioeconomic factors, just looking at your finances and how you've been managing, any issues around food insecurities, are you able to meet your academic, uh, financial demands and things like that. There'll be um, another domain asking about um, academic skills, anything that has to do with your study skills, your time management issues, 
and, and how you managing assessments and things like that. And then there will be another domain on the uh, university environment, your accommodation issues, uh, relationships, basically social support that you have around, and then personal issues that just look into more of your mental health now and your just personal well-being. So by clicking those, we get an idea as to which areas were a bit more of a concern. And when you do that, yeah, 20 minutes maximum it might take you. All right. Okay. So it's quite clearly laid out. It sounds like quite a straightforward process. Mm. Great. Okay. Well, thank you, Sanelia. I think you sort of touched on everything there. I'm not sure if there's any final points you want to add. Otherwise, I feel like that's a pretty um, thorough overview. Yeah, I think uh, we've covered uh, it quite comprehensively. And I hope students will have this appetite to do this LACR uh, mm -hmm. and do it well. It's for their best interest. Absolutely. Thanks, Kelly. All right. Thanks, Anele. Bye. Bye.